Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Jennifer, Professional Psychic, and in today's video we are going to be talking about how this upcoming Mercury Retrograde is going to be affecting you. Mercury Retrograde is going to descend upon us on October 31st. Perfect timing, right guys? And it is going to stick around until uh, November 20th, so it'll be around for a bit. Uh, Mercury Retrograde, you know, a lot of people get freaked out about it. And it's really nothing to freak out about. It's just a time where you want to take time and do things carefully. Cross your T's, dot your I's. Don't really sign any big important contracts. If you do, please read them and reread them and then have a friend read them. Also, uh, don't have any big important conversations because those can kind of go awry. Uh, there's a lot of chance of miscommunications, misunderstandings, mercury, is the planet of communication and intellect and so a lot of times things get misconstrued and misunderstood during this time. Sometimes you might find electronics or um, automobiles, things like that going a little haywire. So just take your time and just really process things slowly. Don't let yourself rush too much. Uh, just take your time and make sure that you check and recheck things before you proceed because it's definitely a time where small details will go unnoticed and then create big messes. So just be cautious. The good thing about Mercury Retrograde is that if you've been experiencing a certain amount of stagnance, Mercury Retrograde can also shake up the energy and get whatever has been stagnant in your life to start moving. So it doesn't always have to be a bad thing. Don't freak out. Just take your time. So let's do our usual thing. This is a pick a card style reading about how this Mercury retrograde is going to be affecting you. And I think that it's important to kind of get prepared. So we're just going to lay down some cards here. And then I am going to put some crystals. Let's just grab a handful randomly. We got this black tourmaline, this clear quartz crystal, and this green stone. That might be a little shiny for you guys because of the ring light. Apologies. Also, my fingers are super duper blue. So if you notice that, just know my hands are clean. <laughs> I dyed my hair a couple of days ago and I dyed it blue. And yeah, there's some stainage going on. I didn't rob a bank or anything and get inked. I'm not turning into a smurf. I just have blue hands for the time being. Anyway, guys, this is deck number one, deck number two, deck number three. Everything is going to be in the timestamp. Everything is going to be timestamped for you so you can go directly to your section of the video. And we're going to begin. So just choose the deck that is calling out to you, that is calling your name, that you feel the most drawn to. This is deck number one, like I said, and we're going to move deck number two and three off to the side so that we can focus on what we got to focus on. Okay. Deck number one, how is this Mercury Retrograde going to affect you? Okay, actually this is going to be pretty good for you. I just want to make sure all the cards are in the little thingamajig. My uh, setup is a little different than usual, so a little things are a little weird or wonky, that's why. Do you remember how I said that Mercury Retrograde can be great for, like, redirecting energy? And that if things have been stagnant, they can often at this time get unstuck? Well, get ready for it, because <laughs> things are going to be starting to really move forward for you in a big way. I feel like whatever has been stagnant is going to start rolling in huge ways. There's a lot of going on. Uh, a lot of going on. I'm speaking English for the first time in my life. There's a lot going on. It's all positive. Now, again, take your time. Don't feel like you have to rush. I feel like I want to say, like, if you have a business, there's going to be a lot of opportunities and orders. You might get a promotion. Whatever you've been waiting for, it's coming to you. This is your time. This is your thing. So just enjoy it. But just, you know, make sure that you ask questions. Make sure you take time before you make decisions. Sign contracts, things like that. Just be really, really cautious. But this is going to be a really good time for you. The energy is shaking loose. And I'm really excited for you. Okay. Deck number two. Deck number two with this beautiful quartz crystal. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, okay. All right. Here's the deal, guys. 
I feel like you're going to get into a fight with your significant other. Now, I feel like this fight can be a big fight, it can be a little fight, but it's going to be bigger than your usual fights. Sorry, there's something like itchy on my nose, so if I sound weird, that's what it is. Life happens. So, here's what I'm getting. There's going to be some kind of a misunderstanding. I feel like this has to do with somebody that you're in a relationship with and something around family. So, I'm not sure if it's your family, their family, or something like that. But it's going to be your own family. There's going to be a misunderstanding. It's going to be a kind of frustrating situation. It could be something that blows up to a huge argument. But either way, it's not something that's going to end the relationship. It's not something that is going to be detrimental long term. But you got to keep a cool head. You know, know your partner, know their triggers, try to avoid those triggers. Just be very cautious during this time and, you know, take your time again. It's going to gonna be saying that a lot. It's a common theme of this video. Get used to it. But yeah, just I'm seeing like an argument or a problem arising for you. So be careful. You know, sometimes you can have a sarcastic sense of humor or, you know, make a joke and then somebody takes it the wrong way or, you know, get grouchy and somebody takes it the wrong way. And just be a little cautious about your partner's triggers. Like I said, this fight, no matter how big or small it is, um, don't get scared. It's not going to be something that ruins you guys. You know, even if it seems like it's a big deal at the time, it will completely come full circle and you'll recover. All right. Deck number three with this pretty green stone. I don't know what that stone is. I don't know what it is. If you guys know, you want to tell me about it? I don't know. I'm trying to get it in the frame for you. Okay. Deck number three. Okay. Actually, this is not your first rodeo, my friend. You know what you're doing. You've been through Mercury Retrograde a ton before. And I feel like you're kind of like, you know, you're prepared. That's what I want to say to you. I feel like you know that you have to take it easy. You know that you're just going to lay low and just kind of let things go by. I feel like you're going to be focusing a lot on, like, organizational things. You're going to be focusing a lot on, you know, catching up on things that you've been missing out on. And just taking your time. The only thing I feel that may happen, and believe me, this is not a health reading by any means. It's just an impression I'm getting, so I'm sharing it with you guys. But I feel like you might feel a little under the weather during this time. I'm not sure if you're going to get a cold or flu. I'm just kind of getting that under the weather vibe. Um, and so if that happens, just take, you know, take care of yourself. Take time out. But I, I really feel like you already are prepared for Mercury Retrograde. So I'm not really worried about you, and you probably shouldn't be worried about yourself either. So... Don't even stress about it. You're going to be totally great. All right, everybody, that is today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, like I said, nothing to worry about. I do have a couple other videos about Mercury Retrograde, and I can put them in the cards for you, as well as some other cute, fun, interesting videos that you may enjoy. I hope that you have a wonderful day. Think about giving this video a like. It really helps me out. It takes literally one second to like this video. It's completely free and you have no idea how much it helps me out. It helps with the YouTube algorithm and it helps other people find my content. So if you like my content and you want other people to find it, click that little like and I would really appreciate it. Also, think about subscribing to my channel. If you like quirky, fun, interesting, unique videos, then you might like my channel. And if you think this video would be helpful to a friend, do me a favor and share it with them brighten their day. Alright guys, I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you have a wonderful day and take care. I just want to take a moment to remind you guys that if you wanted to purchase a private reading from me, all you need to do is click one of the links below and it will take you to my website or my Etsy shop. Also on my Etsy shop are some products with my art on them. So if you're just interested in perusing them, you can check it out. Ooh, look at the nice readings I got. Also, if you're looking for a fun way to spice up your Instagram feed, you can follow me at Psychic Jennifer Moran. I post often, and I think you guys would really enjoy it.